Yo, what is going on, legends? This is Rowan from Optimize Effects. Welcome to another episode of the Thousand Dollar Challenge. Today, we are just going to be doing a quick update on all of the EAs and how they've performed so far. Uh, but first, let me just quickly go to my effects book. I just need to show you all uh, where that is at right now. So let's head to there. That is the channel. Let's head to there. So um, I've left I've left some in there that now are no longer trading. Uh, just to show you, um, and uh, all the other ones as well. And this, I need to do some updating with uh, with this MyFX book. Um, I've had a few people ask me if this is public and if people can have a look at it. No, it is not public. Uh, if you want to have a look at it, here are all the stats right now. Um, essentially, uh, what you can do though is you can send me an email, get me to me on Telegram. Uh, you can get to me on Discord if you want. If you want um, like particular information on a robot that I've been testing, if you want me just to screenshot um, some particular metric or something like that, I'm more than happy to do that. Uh, but it's just too time-consuming for me at the moment just to go through and authorize and make uh, each one of these ones public all the time because they too change all, all the time, like the accounts. Uh, just so I can, when I start a new one, I can start on a thousand dollars. Sometimes uh, it's way over, and I need to do some losing trades to get it back to a thousand, or I just start a whole new demo account, and then I just got to add it all in again. And um, it's a very, very time-consuming process, and I hope you guys all understand um, all that when it comes to setting all this up. It is, uh, it it takes a while. So, uh, but here are the, uh, the current stats um, as they sit right now. So, Badak flat. Uh, 1.62. This is one that is trading the H4 time frame. It has made $974 since I started it. Sorry. Uh, gold mining EA low. It blew the account, uh, which is uh, it's no surprise to me actually, uh, because I think $1,000 is uh, really really risky to trade gold with, uh, especially when it moves uh, like it does. Um, you know, it sometimes does $50 moves easily. And uh, EAs um, uh, can trade it definitely. You can trade it. However, uh, I think a thousand dollars is is too little for an EA to trade gold. I think you're better off if you wanted to trade gold. Uh, definitely trade it manually. And uh, what I will be doing is showing just a few basic um, strategies that you can trade with uh, in the future as well. So just just basic strategies. Uh, you know you can. You know the idea is to buy low and sell high and vice versa or whatever but yes I've, I've actually got another gold robot that's starting on a thousand uh, that I'll share in a minute but yeah just to go through all these quickly so gold mining's gone baby shark is still trading this is the one that I started on 10k um, so it is still going and uh, what is um, interesting to me is though I've just I'm like oh you know it's going okay um, I just back tested Baby Shark over the past six months, um, and it fails. So I'm not sure. Um, I think it fails when it failed for me before I started the 10k. So yeah, just be really careful with Baby Shark if you are going to trade it that you have like an equity stop because um, yeah, it it didn't matter how much um, how much equity I had. Or what a starting balance that I had it, it just ended up blowing it over the past six months so um, but it's 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 better half the white shark um, it trades really really well and you can find that on MQL5 it's 7.99 at the moment which is pretty expensive but um, you know it it seems to be way better than this one here uh, MG Pro uh, it has only been going for a couple of weeks I think so yeah 5.69 percent is about right 5.28 uh, percent is about right so um, it's made hundred dollars so that's pretty good now FX core I ended up going was at H4 buys and sells and it ended up margin calling the account we did lose half and uh, we're back to five hundred and sixty six dollars with that so um, I think a thousand dollars with FX core even on H4 is too little for FX core just the way it trades so uh, that is just my advice um, from how I've seen it trade and uh, yeah please yeah, take it with a grain of salt if you, you if you can trade it better than me go for it you know it's it's all good uh, FX stabilizer is the the king at the moment 159 percent in uh, in gains and uh, you know the max drawdown it's ever had is 24.72 percent and it's currently 15.99 uh, up in profit 
Now uh, I have increased starting lots to 0 0.02 uh, in the past couple of weeks and uh, it has been handling that extremely well and making a shit ton more money. So yeah, uh, it's currently got an equity of two thousand six hundred and six dollars. Uh, so that's you know it's it's currently um, currently is up in trades. So it's good. Uh, PFX blew its account as you know it had all those pairs and uh, euro pound I believe blew it, um, but it it went extremely well for for how you know it was definitely a game changer. Uh, but if you can mitigate those losses, you know, if you can get out of those big losses early, I think it's definitely a good EA to have in your arsenal uh, to put on like a risky account. So FX Stabilize you could have on just a, you know, a, a low risk account and PFX can be your high risk account, uh, maybe with some other EAs uh, on other high risk accounts if you want to um, have a strategy like that. Uh, Life Changer, it ended up blowing the account, which is no surprise to me there because, you know, it has done so in the past. So um, it is now gone. Simplicity is now gone as well. It didn't really do much. It was only up like two percent over the whole time that I was, I was trading it. Um, so really disappointing. Uh, Parabolic is up sixty-eight percent since it started. Uh, it is up seven hundred dollars, and the max drawdown it's currently had is twenty-eight point nine percent, based on the settings that I'm using for it. And uh, Ranger has also been trading extremely well. Um, so it should because uh, all the, the settings and um, all the information that I've got from it um, has also been really, really good. So there's no surprise to me there that it has uh, traded really, really well and has only had a 10% drawdown. Uh, FX Island, uh, it did go okay, but um, ended up getting rid of it in favor of another EA. So that pretty much rounds out the, uh, the my FX put stacks, all the stats here. And um, let's head over to the robots. I'll give you a quick uh, rundown on how they're all going. So we'll start with MG Pro. It's currently down $50. And a lot of people are saying that they're down with the CAD pairs. So let's have a look. CAD CHF, AD CAD, and Enzo CAD. So all the CAD pairs are down. Uh, you know, it moved a lot. So um, that's to be expected there. But, you know, with with the risk that we're taking here, it's only down uh, $50 at the moment, which is quite good, uh, considering. Um, right, this is uh, FX Core on the H4 time frame, buys and sells, and we are down to $566 in equity, no open trades right now. So on the 10th and the 9th, we lost 451 at $318. And for the week we're down 707, so that's pretty. It's pretty disappointing. It was going quite well, uh, but then you eventually uh, trading with this kind of strategy, the the way the FX Core does trade, you need quite a lot of margin and equity uh, in order to trade it without being margin called. Uh, that's just how it is. So just be cautious of uh, my of FX Core for sure, guys. Um, Next we have uh, FX Stabilizer, so just want to show you the settings quickly. Uh, so it is on Turbo, Auto is false, uh, risk limit 50, and we are starting on a 0.02 lot uh, start lot size, mini lot set to false, so it should set 20 or 2, I think it's in pips, 20 points. So yeah, it uh, is currently in a dollar $1.54 profit I should say, we've got a bit of commission, no swap yet, but it'll probably get added over the weekend. But yeah, uh, 0 0.02 lots and uh, what's in a cell. And it looks like Euro USD will probably, will probably come down. We'll see what happens. But um, it has been trading extremely well. Really impressed uh, with it. So Badak, uh, this is uh, one that we changed from H4 to H1. And on the 9th, it suffered a loss, uh, which with the 9th here, somehow um, it. The, this is H1, so it moved up and then come back. So I'd, I'd say, without knowing exactly what happened, um, it's come back, you know, all this way down here and um, run out of margin, I would say, and then come back and closed. So negative $187 uh, there, but it is still up $885 for this year, uh, trading trading H4 then to H1 with Badak. So. Um, 
I think uh, just my two cents with Badak, it is quite a risky EA like FX Core, but not as risky, I don't think. Uh, but we'll we'll see. I think you know H4 is definitely better, but it's way less profits than H1. H1 is definitely more riskier, uh, but with that risk comes more reward. So you just got to weigh up both and and see how you go there. But this just just remember this is only trading one currency pair. So uh, you know if you wanted to, you can trade H4 and maybe multiple currency pairs. But that's entirely up to you uh, if you want to um, put all your eggs in one basket like that or not. Parabolic, uh, that is not really too much for me to talk about with this. Um, this does say Parabolic version 1.0, I still haven't changed it. And uh, every time I go to change it, it's always in open trades over the weekend. And um, I actually start work like really early before the market starts. So if I'm going to change it, I'll need to change it uh, when it gets out of the trade after I finish work, which is in the afternoon and evenings. So I might do that and change it to version 1.1. There's only a slight little difference with the, how it um, does trades. So uh, if we can see here, we can't really see. So 0 0.05 to 0 0.06, uh, the, it's, it starts, um, there's just a little bug that I fixed up. So it's, it still probably has that, but it's only when you're starting from 0 0.01. So it's, it's, not, it's only a really little bug. But uh, anyway, it's been trading really, really well. Uh, for the week, it made $82. And if anyone wants to look at the settings, uh, we have a range of $25, uh, a start lot of 0 0.05, and a take profit of $5. So this seems to be going really, really well. Um, uh, this is, yeah, all these settings here are way different to what uh, the, the market version is because I made it just simpler to use. There is no take profit. There's no stop loss. Uh, essentially, it, it uses uh, hidden hidden things. So, a few secrets, but uh, yeah, it's been going quite well. Pretty happy with that. Uh, next, we have ooh, we've got a new one. We've got Swing, which is very it trades extremely similarly to uh, to MG. It's down forty seven ninety nine, which is exactly the same. Uh, all CAD pairs exactly the same because uh, they trade the same kind of pairs. And um, it does say that it's down 236 for the month, but I think that's because it's including the EA that I swapped it over from. So I just disregard that for the week. We're up $43.42, so that's pretty good so far. Next, uh, we have Baby Shark. Now, this is the one that I started on 10K. We are using uh, the smallest amount of risk that we possibly can using Baby Shark, and that was on 0.05. I've now changed it to 0.06%. And um, it, uh, I think I started that at the start of last week, or this week I should say. And uh, so far it's made $548 this week, and for the month $729. So it is going quite well, but um, you know it really, really concerns me that it doesn't pass any of my back tests uh, that I'll try it with with EuroUSD on uh, on the lowest risk with any kind of start balance. So at some point EuroUSD does this huge move and um, it just wrecks, uh, wrecks Baby Shark. So just be very, very careful with this robot. Very careful. Uh, hey, this is one of the new ones. So this one's called Northeast Scalper. And this trade here is not Northeast Scalper. I just had to, what was it? Oh, Simplicity. So I got rid of Simplicity in favor of Northeast Scalper. Um, I'll obviously close this trade when the market reopens when I finish work and uh, it's trying to try and close it now but I can't um, but yeah I've set it up uh, basic basically I have not done anything here yet uh, I'm just gonna have a look at that when I um, finish dinner and see what kind of time frame it trades and if there's any settings that I can find uh, that will help it uh, you know with the challenge so we'll see how it goes uh, Ranger uh, nothing too much really to show you guys here. Um, that it uh, it made twenty four dollars this week, currently down two dollars, which is nothing to cry about, and it's up. I think it's up two hundred fifty bucks. So going really well. And the next new EA that has got a sad face. Let's make it happy. So Algo two point zero gold. This is one that was sent in to me. I did actually have this EA already. Uh, but I need to change the account balance or the account itself because this one's currently at $8,441. I 
I just need to change the account to a lower balance at, at 1000 which I'll do that later and uh, yeah we'll start this one on gold this one's the uh, a one hour uh, time frame of trading uh, EA so we'll see how it goes it back tests quite well it didn't blow the account it did get it to like 40 43 percent drawdown um, which is you know for gold it's it's pretty good <laughs> you know anything over 20 percent or 30 percent is is getting a bit scary but um, I, I think that's really good uh, that it, it passed the back test so we'll see how it goes on a forward live test and and we'll go for there so um, I'm actually going to be doing uh, recording a few a few back tests on a few EAs from from the market and uh, I'll be sharing them over the week so thank you very much for watching uh, if you've liked this video smash that like button it really helps out with the channel and uh, if you want to see more videos like this and, uh, and and back tests and all these other bits and bobs don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, and hit the click the bell so you get up uh, notifications on when I upload videos but thanks for watching and you'll see me again in the next video thanks bye bye